Hey, we're about to take you inside what many people consider the best party in New York City. This is Soul Summit, New York's premier house music celebration, which brings together thousands of people from around the world to dance house for free, even as some people are trying to shut it down. To understand why, you've got to know a bit about the fascinating history of house music and why people like Sadiq are fighting so hard to keep it alive. In the late 1970s, disco was all the rage, and it started beating out rock on the airwaves. Some people were not happy. And on July 12, 1979, there was a famous event called the Disco Demolition, where rock DJ Steve Dahl, who was recently kicked off his radio station when it changed to disco music, blew up a bunch of disco records in the middle of a White Sox Tigers doubleheader. A riot took place, where not just disco records were burned, but other records from black artists too. While the official story was about a backlash to disco, there was also a backlash by primarily white rockers to music driven by black, Latino, Italian, and LGBT communities. Disco brings people together, and although the Disco Demolition Crew denies it, this is arguably part of a larger and older story about backlash by a dominant group to minority group success. The impact of this moment rippled through society. Disco record sales plummeted. It became known as the day that disco died. At the same time, from the ashes of disco, a new form of music was brewing that would influence the next generation and continue building on disco's unifying power. House music. House music is influenced by everything from hip-hop to jazz, pop, and Latin music, driven largely by the black and LGBTQ communities. Sadiq, one of the founders of Soul Summit, was just a young boy when house was starting to take over the world. His older sisters would go out to the clubs, come home, and play the tracks they'd heard. He was entranced by the music. And when he was old enough, he started going to the clubs and began DJing himself. Like most DJs who are my age, we started in the living room, literally with whatever we had. So I had a speaker from one of the turntables and I had another turntable which had its own speaker and I put the two speakers together and I would play one and attempt to mix the other one in and turn the volume down on the other player, literally. So it was very raw mixing <laughs> yeah. at that point. Besides going to the clubs, people would come to parks just like this one to hear their favorite DJs spinning new tracks while eating, dancing, drinking, and having a great time. House music brought communities together. Friday and Saturday, there were literally hundreds if not thousands of parties in any given park. When listening to house music, I think you can get lost. There's a release of stress. But soon, DJs began putting their music online and people started listening to it from the comfort of their homes. The park culture started to dwindle. For Sadiq and other househeads, it felt like the glory days of bringing communities together to dance over house music in the parks were over. But they didn't have to be. With his friends Taboo and Jeff Mendoza, Sadiq thought of a way to bring the party back to the street. 17 years ago, he hosted an event called Soul Summit in a tiny park in Brooklyn. Their very first event had over a thousand people in attendance. Sadiq knew he'd struck a nerve. We thought we would maybe spend a year or two years growing Soul Summit. By the second event, we outgrew the park. How is it so popular? I don't know. Again, it, <laughs> I think it spoke to the will of the people. Obviously, this was a pulse that you know was out there. In the past 17 years, Soul Summit has blossomed into a cultural phenomenon. With over 5,000 people showing up to every event, flying in from all around the world. The old house heads mixed with the new house heads, young, old, families, black, white, Latino, Asian, gay, straight, it doesn't matter. Everyone showed up. But just like with disco, not everyone's into this scene. As the neighborhood has gentrified, people have complained about the event. Each year, Sadiq is forced to host fewer and fewer Soul Summits. We, when we started Soul Summit, we did nine to 10 per summit. The complaints from the community was too much, overuse of the park, cut down to eight, six, and each time I was told, oh, that would be it, we won't cut anymore. Four, and three, and then two. Part of this, is that Fort Greene Park is now a more popular place to host events. But it's also because people have moved into the neighborhood and live in their own bubbles. And so there was an attempt to shut down Soul Summit. Oh, there have been several attempts. Sure. I think um, they perhaps envisioned another idea of coming into Brooklyn, I think, perhaps. But again, Soul Summit usually preceded the very people who've moved in as an event. That's an annual 
Um, it's a tradition. So I think that, I don't know. The support is, it's, it's too much, you know. Like the Disco Sucks crowd, what they're missing is what's happening on the inside. There's a true community here, and the city government and parks management are here to support it. Each year it kind of gets a little bigger, you know, it's really putting, putting the park on the map. People here come together in unity. Everybody gets a chance to come and see what this excitement is about, and once they get a taste of it, they can't leave. What occurs at Seoul Summit is it's unique. You can't buy this. You can't buy the, the vibe and the feeling and the sensation. It's interesting, these people are no different than the same people hustling and bustling and moving you out of the way to get onto the train, but yet in Fort Green Park, it's a total, total another uh, energy. Very unifying and, and, and magnetic in, in terms of creating a harmonious element that's missing in New York City that we had during the disco scene. Despite the pushback and the long days, Sadiq won't quit. Thousands of New Yorkers look to him Tabu and Jeff Mendoza to keep the roots of house alive and bring together the city for a day of dancing and love. Because as all house heads know, love is the message. I'm Sadiq, this is Soul Summit. Rally on!